Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a brand new game for you. This game is in soft launch. This is Higan Eruthiel. I think I pronounced that correctly. This is a turn-based gotcha game. It's got some real-time mechanics, uh, some idle mechanics. It's got some pretty cool stuff to it. We're going to go ahead and touch on some things here, show some combat, have some fun. But first, before we do, if you're just finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest in mobile gaming, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back again, Hegan Aruthiel. Um, I'm having quite a bit of fun with this. It is in soft launch right now. This is actually coming out fairly quickly. It's coming out in April. I can't remember the date. I think it's around mid-April. I want to say the 26th, or maybe it's April 6th. It's coming out pretty quick in the next few weeks. So if you go ahead and check your store, it's probably in there. It's probably got the date in there. So definitely check it out. Um, I blasted off a bunch of stuff that this game does, some real-time mechanics, some idle mechanics, some things like that. Uh, so we're going to touch on a couple of, of those things. I just kind of want to give you an introduction to this game, point out a couple things that are a little bit different, and um, again, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's got a very involved story. I like the story. I think it's fun. Let's take a look at my roster here really quick. So this is what I have. Uh, this character here, everybody here I've gotten for free just by completing stuff in the game. Uh, but you can see what each one of these does. I can click on here. We've got guardians and, and hoplites, assassins, rangers, casters, and I don't even want to try and pronounce that one. But each one of them, look at it. So when you have a guardian there, um, then all allies take 5% less damage. When you have a caster there, then all allies charge energy 5% faster. So there, there's some different mechanics there that I've not necessarily seen. Elements, your typical rock, paper, scissors, your RGB. Red beats green, beats blue, beats red. Um, and then you've got your dark light stuff there as well. So a lot of familiarity there. Uh, skills and awakens. These things are a little bit different. Uh, but let's just take a look at the different characters that we have. We've got some pretty cool characters. I, I like the way that they're drawn. There are some areas in the game where you can see a 2D and 3D version of the characters. Uh, but a lot of these characters you start out with. I have done some summons. Um, and I think they do a pretty good job in introducing you to the game. There are some areas that I, I did get a little lost in. But uh, those are some of the characters. They've got some cool stuff. I showed you the, um, the different classes. So let's go ahead and jump into some battle. Here's the idle mechanic here. Once you get a certain ways into the game, you'll start building currency just passively. I can go ahead and click on that and I can go ahead and claim it. But as you continue to work through it, you're going to get more and more currency there. So there's the idle mechanic there. Let's jump into, I just unlocked this area. So let's go into here. Enter. We're going to go ahead and skip the story so we can hurry up and get to combat. Because combat... I won't say is absolutely unique, but I like the flexibility that combat gives us. So let's go ahead and jump into here. Uh, between each battle, you're going to be able to, to fix or manipulate your formation. So I've got my tank up here. Uh, I've got my da a damage dealer here. I've got a caster back here and my healer back here as well. I can move them anywhere on the board that I want. One thing you got to be careful is if your caster is too far or your healer is too far away from one of your other uh, characters, one of your other team members, they're not going to be able to reach them. So um, I bring them at least back here a little bit closer. You can do the rock, paper, scissors thing. Make sure you got everything there. I can go ahead and hit confirm. Now, once I start the battle, it's, it's turn-based, but... It's real time and it doesn't go by turn meter, right? Where typically uh, this person's got a certain uh, amount of turn meter, so they're going to go first. Then you can see who goes next. You can, and you have the flexibility, you use whoever you want. There is a shared resource that um, as you go through the battle, you're going to see it increase. And that's what you use to determine the abilities that you're going to use. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit fight. I am going to slow the battle down and take it off auto right now. So here's my abilities over here on the right. On the left are my ultimates. So damage here, I can go ahead and move it to wherever I want. Let's see. Let's do some damage over here. Here's some damage here I can move around as well. Uh, let's just go to the person in front of me. And it slows time down. It doesn't completely stop it. See? So let's see. Boom. Yeah, okay, let's do an ultimate. Here's my ultimate. I can go ahead and figure out where I want to place it. 
And that's what I like. I like being able to place it. There has been some times where I've clicked a little too fast and I've completely missed my opponent. But um, but I like that. I like the flexibility there. I like the fact you're essentially drawing cards, I guess, um, for the abilities over here. And that kind of dictates which characters you can use. Maybe you don't want to use healing right away. But that means you can save up your healing too. So in other games, you would typically use your healing and then you'd wait for your turn to come back around. There'd be cooldown, things like that. Not in this game here. I can save up. There's cooldowns, but I can save up my healings. Like if I don't want to use the healing yet, I'll go ahead and save it. I got a couple healings now. So now if I want, I could use healings back to back. Boom. If I wanted, if I needed it, I didn't really need to. Uh, let's see. See, I can hit. Can I hit two opponents at once? I don't think so. Let's go. Let's do her ultimate just because ultimates are fun. Ah, I took too much time. All right, let's skip that. Let's do one more battle. But I think you get the gist of it. It's pretty fun. We'll do one more. I'll throw it on auto this time. We'll go up to a times two. Auto battle's not bad. I haven't really found a reason unless I'm really trying to punch up to the uh, like I'm like a, a few hundred power level below my opponent um, then I've really kind of had to manually do it so that I had you know so I could make some real-time decisions on what I needed to do do I need to heal right away do I need to do a damage right away really kind of depends on what what comes up here's uh here's a couple ultimates I think are pretty cool there we go Come on, let's get another ultimate out there. There we go. <laughs> she cracks me up. Can we get another one out there? Nope, we're done. So that is battle for you. Again, I think it's pretty cool. Let's talk about just a couple other game modes here really quick, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave that. You're going to find your typical gameplay modes. Okay, cool. We're done with that. In Outland over here, we're going to run into some resource farming. Arc tasks here, so you got different resources here that you can farm. Um, over here, Elemental Rhapsody, so you got the different elements and uh, components that you need to ascend your different elemental characters. You've got Realm of Abundance here, but you also got Realm of Fighters over here, which unlocks a completely different uh, section of, of things to do. You got a, like a tower mode here. We've got um, PvP and stuff like that as well that I don't have unlocked. But there is a lot to this game. Even in adventure mode where we can see there, you can see fantasy land and real world. So once you complete the real world portion of it, like you saw, I just completed that. Now you got to go into fantasy land. You got to go in here and then you got to do your your battles in here in your different game modes. Not uh, game modes, but uh, an, an extension of the campaign. You kind of run through that. And then once you complete this out and cleanse it, it adds to your idle time. Then you complete, then you continue with the different chapters. There's a, there's a lot to it, uh, but it's easy to pick up once you get it. But I think it's pretty cool. It's a, a lot of fun. I just started, I just played this game. Let's see, I just picked this game up a few days ago. Um, and you can, like I said, you can pick it up pretty quick and get familiar with it. So that's, that's it. That's what I had to show you, at least for now. Um, really kind of curious if you've played this in beta or if you're currently playing it in soft launch. Um, or if you're not playing it, does the game appeal to you at all? Definitely let me know. All right, everybody, that is what I had for you. A brand new game in soft launch coming out in just a few weeks. Definitely keep an eye out if you're interested. And uh, there you go, everybody. That is what I had for you. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it. Make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.